Welcome back everyone to the Back 40 Firewood channel. Today it's about the middle of July. A couple days past the middle of July actually. So we are technically about three months away, less than three months away, from firing that thing up. That's right. It's approaching even though it's been hotter than heck around here and it's hard to think about firing up a wood boiler. But we're, about, we're under three months away from firing up the boiler. So today what I want to do is I want to go around to some of my areas where I have firewood stored up for this fall. I want to do a little check-in to see how things are seasoning and what percent moisture things are at. So we're going to pull some from in here in the woodshed. We're going to go out to a couple other stacks, go around, kind of get a look at the wood. And then um, we're also going to check to see if there's any difference between um, how wood seasoned if it was on one side of the stack compared to the other side of the stack. So stay tuned, I'm gonna grab a few things um, and then we're gonna get to it. All right, I might need this thing. A great big, a long pick. I might need to dig into some of these piles. So I'm gonna grab that and then first off we'll get um, <clears throat> right over here. So next to my uh, shed here, I do have two face cords sitting here and then another one over there. So this, all this wood has been about the same um, amount of time um, out here seasoning. I'm not sure if I'm going to burn this or if I'm going to sell this because I do have one customer who comes for uh, wood just for heating. So I've got three face cords worth of oak right here, but since we're doing this, we may as well check it out. So I'll just grab one of these pieces that we can split down. So I've got my little notepad here. That I'm gonna be taking notes with. And I'm also gonna write on these pieces of wood where they came from so I can keep track. So this is gonna be the uh, outside shed. All right, so this is inside the woodshed. Um, what I have here is some pine, and that's going to obviously be some of the first wood I get to, unless I put wood inside the shed here. And that's what I might be doing, depending on how some of that wood back there is seasoned. I might be bringing some of that in and just throwing it in the shed here later on in the summer just to make some more room for stacking back in the wood yard. But for now, let's assume this is where I'm going to start burning. So I'm going to grab this piece right here because this piece could be the very first piece that goes into the boiler. All right, so I've got five rows in this, in this woodshed here. So I'm gonna grab something from the middle row as well. So let me grab a piece of that, and that's, that's pretty much all oak in the middle there, so I'm gonna grab a piece of that. I also have in the woodshed this uh, big pile of just loosely tossed in um, big chunks of maple. So I'm going to grab one of those as well, just to see how, how that's doing. Here I am now on the outside of my woodshed. So this, this is all oak, and that stuff was put in there beginning of last year, the burning season. I don't know if you remember the video where I kind of built that wall to shield uh, shield myself from the wind blowing in. So I'm gonna grab a piece of that and I think I'm gonna grab some from down near the bottom to see how that's doing. And then this is some of the oak that we split early earlier this year. Um, and again, this is the outside west facing wall of the woodshed. So I'm gonna grab a piece of that and a piece of that other stuff. But like I said, that stuff on the right, that's been there um, a lot longer than the stuff on the left. So we're gonna get one of each and sample it. And I think this is where I'm gonna use my pry bar and try to get a piece from kind of in the center or near the bottom. So that over there, that's the west wall. Now this wall right here, that's wall, that wall faces north. So I'm gonna grab one of those pieces 
just because I want to see if there's any difference. I mean, this was all put in there at the same time and all split and bucked up at the same time. But I want to just see if there's any difference between something here on the north side of the shed compared to the west side of the shed. Now we are back in the wood yard and that pile right down there, that stuff's been there since last fall. And then this little pile here, I put there this spring. So we're gonna take a, uh, a quick, we're gonna grab a piece from there. And then I'm gonna, this is where I'm gonna see the north side. So this, this stack here is on the north facing side and that other side is on the south facing side. So I'm gonna grab a piece from each side and we're gonna see if there's any difference. Just to give you a little of idea of the, the power of the sun. So you can see how gray these pieces of wood are. Check this out. Look at that piece right there. So there you can see this was exposed to the sun and that was not. Look at that. Just look at the difference the sun can make. You look at how the color of these pieces compared to under the tarp. Quite the difference. And here's, uh, here's my other stack of some pine boiler wood that I split up this uh, kind of late spring, I think it was. So this is for you, Larry Cluck. I'm gonna grab one of those pieces and, uh, and split that open and test it. I probably won't be burning this anyway till late spring next year, but we'll give it a test and see. So there are all my samplings. I've got everything from the outside smaller stacks. I've got the uh, piece from the inside row, the top of the pile, the outside row. Um, these were from these stacks back here, the north, the south facing stacks, and then a piece of that pine. And the pine that I grabbed from my boiler wood pile of pine was, um, wasn't dead. There are pieces in there from a tree that was dead but I figured those would be ready to burn for sure. So we'll just test that one. So, all right, time to head over to the splitter and get the results. Hey, Woodhounds, just wanted to pop in here quick to this video and let you know, um, I'm not sure if something was off with this or if it's just because of the weather, the past few weeks being really humid, but let's just say the results that you're about to see, they are kind of uh, interesting. So let me know what you guys think after you see them. Um, I will be doing um, a couple, I will be doing a couple tests again of a few pieces and I will have those results on the Back 40 live stream Friday night at 8 p.m. Central. So uh, let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments. Otherwise we'll be discussing this Friday night on the live stream. Oh, I'm also going to be taking some of those 194 pieces of wood from that one big round. And I'm gonna fill up a bundle and see how many pieces go in a bundle so then that way I can see how many bundles I potentially got out of that one round. So I'll have that and all kinds of other stuff going on this Friday night, Back 40 live stream. We'll see you then. Now back to the video.
Okay, so now the numbers. Some very interesting numbers, actually. So the, uh, the stack, the first stack we took from outside the shed, that stuff was at 25. That was red oak, 25. The, uh, the inside row, the very first row of that pine, that was at 32. Then in the middle row, that oak was, the outside was 17. The inside was also 32. The top of the pile, that big piece of maple, you saw that one, that was at 42%. The, uh, the oldest stuff on the west wall, that was at 30 on the inside. The, uh, the newer stuff on the west wall, the outside was 14, the inside was 42. The north side of the shed, 26. The, um, the north side of the stack back here was at 14 on the outside and 33 on the inside. The south facing stack was 26 on the inside. The north pile, north side of the pile out there, that was 18 out and 34 in. And then the south side of that pile, outside was 12 and the inside was still 42. And then on that last piece of pine, that boiler wood pine that I had, that stuff, believe it or not, was 39% still on the inside. So I just threw those split pieces back here into the shed because this is where I'm going to need them when I start up the boiler. But uh, yeah, now you know why when you hear people say that oak should have at least two years to season. That's why some of those pieces of oak are still holding 42% moisture on the inside. Now granted, once you throw them in a boiler and the outer, you know, you're still going to lose BTUs because you're gonna be using some of that heat from the outer dryer wood to dry out the inner wood. So, and that's another reason why I split all of my boiler wood. I do not throw full rounds of wood into the boiler. But some of the stuff is, is I mean, it's looking good. You know, I do have uh, some a supply. I do have a stockpile down on the farm that has been seasoning for two years, but we'll see. Usually what I do is I start with the wood in my shed and then I'll, every now and then when I go down to the farm, I'll bring back a load and kind of supplement that in. But yeah, even this pine in here, the stuff that I'm gonna be burning first, still not under 20%. So anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, like I said, a little twist on the inventory video, how seasoned the wood is that I have. So yeah, so I still have three months to go. It'll season out a little bit more, but it is what it is. Once this boiler fires up, it's getting thrown in, I guess, no matter where it's at. So, so that'll do it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Stay safe, have fun, and be cool.